Okay, so in regards to the level and type of athlete that would most effectively benefit from the use of block training, there are a few issues that must first be addressed. One is that the level of athlete is most acutely quantified according to the level of physical preparation. And so what I've done here is pre-assembled some rudimentary graphs that would illustrate under the caveat that well-structured, logically planned, long-term development has been initiated at the proper pre-adolescent stage. Some general accepted parameters, temporally speaking. First couple years of development, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, provided all the variables are in place for most sport disciplines, we would like to think each classification corresponds to the amount of time spent with properly structured sport training, all variables included, psychological, technical, tactical, physical. So looking at these three, intensity increasing over time, the question is when provided that the sport itself qualifies, which I'll get into in a moment, for use of the block system, when in the athlete's training and sport career might they be a candidate. And so what we can see at the beginning levels, the foundational elements of training are still being addressed in more of a extensive fashion, hence the breadth of the pyramid in this case. As we progress on up in terms of sport and physical mastery, the breadth begins to narrow, or hence the volume, yet the apex, the height, is ever increasing until obviously in the advanced stages we're very close to the top. And so the interesting question becomes, what is necessary to advance results here versus here versus here? And the origins of black training came, of course, in the former Soviet Union. And the, the training problem that the authors working individually, Dr. Yuri Voroshansky, Dr. Vladimir Isserin, the conclusions they came to were based upon them being faced with the problem of how can we increase the results of these athletes who are already performing at an international level, the training volumes are becoming ever increasing, they, they can't continue to increase in this way, so how might we solve this problem? Hence the origins of the black training system which is primarily characterized by the use of highly concentrated loads, very specialized. Of course, there's much more than that, but let's allow me to paraphrase. So clearly, when you're already operating close to the limits of human performance capability, a completely different approach must be taken to stimulate the athlete's adaptation process, who is already generating such high outputs. Less required here, less required here. Due to the intensive nature of the block training system, particularly the blocks that involve the most concentrated loads of high intensity, it doesn't make sense to use it where it isn't needed because the stimulation necessary for this individual to progress is very moderate, more so and the most. Are there fine lines driven? The answer is no but there are fine lines driven between the sports which qualify. The multi-targeted sports, meaning those who are dependent upon the most broad array of motor physiological abilities, which are essentially the team and combat sports, are not good candidates per se and in the absolute sense for a block training model because in order to truly concentrate the load, you have to limit the amount of targets you are addressing. Conversely, with more of a complex parallel model where the, there are more targets that are addressed, you can only concentrate the load on any particular one so much. So there can still be a defined emphasis, but not nearly to the same magnitude as those with more singular objectives, such as Olympic weightlifting or powerlifting. So, important to note where the athlete is in their stage of development 
what sport are they playing and understand that the most specific characteristic of the stage of development, and particularly in the United States, the United States where the sport training system is so disjointed and incomplete and misinformed, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we cannot assume because the athlete has been participating in a sport for X amount of years that that corresponds to the level of physical preparation. Physical preparation being the key, what is necessary to advance the results.